Today we are learning how to read negative numbers on a number line. Let's talk about negative numbers. You're probably used to a number line starting here, at zero. Then it moves forwards, with numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Well, negative numbers are just the numbers before zero. You have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So let's say we had this number line, and we wanted to figure out what this dash represented. Well, let's think about it. We'll start at zero, and we can see when I move one dash, I'm moving a distance of one. So if I move one dash the other way, now I would be at negative one. If I move another dash, I'm at negative two. A third dash would be negative three. And finally, I get to the dash I'm looking at. This would be negative four. So this dash represents negative four. Let's look at one of these together. Well, here's the number line. We'll mark 1 here, and let's figure out what this dash represents. Well, if I start at 0, we can see when I move 1 dash, I'm moving a distance of 1. So if I move 1 dash backwards, what dash am I at now? When I'm moving backwards, I'll be at a negative number, so I'll be at negative 1. Now, if I move backwards again, where will I be now? Well, I've moved one more backwards, so now I'll be at negative two. This dash represented negative two. Here's another problem to practice with. Here's a number line, and I'm going to tell you that this second dash represents 10, and we want to figure what number this dash represents. Well, let's think about this. When I move two dashes forward, I'm going a distance of 10. So how far is it if I move one dash? Well, if I'm only moving one dash, that would mean I'm only moving five. So now, if I move backwards one dash, where am I? I would be at negative five. Continue this on your own. What number is the arrow pointing at? Well, another dash would be negative 10, then negative 15, then negative 20. So we can see our arrow was pointing at the number negative 20. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. On this number line, what number is our arrow pointing at? Well, each time we move one dash, we're moving a distance of one. So if I move backwards, I'm at negative one. Negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. This arrow is pointing at negative six. Now here's your last problem for this video. Here's a number line, and this dash will represent 20. What number does this dash represent? Well, starting at zero, I move 20 when I've moved two dashes. That means moving one dash is a distance of 10. So if I move backwards one dash, I'm at negative 10, then negative 20, then negative 30. This dash represents negative 30. Today you learned how to read negative numbers on a number line.